Hello guys, welcome to another Blue Trick SD exciting tutorial. Uh, my name is Toby, and today I'm gonna tell you how to make your own bokeh. So let's open up the Photoshop. So bokeh it's all like this, or maybe you want to see more. Select so like this. So the easiest one is like this. So to make that, make a very very big new document. So set it to about four thousand and three thousand to height. Click OK. and make a new layer this is the background and I think uh, just fill it with black a plain black and then make a new layer and we call it bokeh so pick your brush and click right right next to the custom preset button and click it and we want to make several changes so set your hardener first to a hundred and then choose scattering and move your scattering to uh, the maximum position and set the buffed axis off disable it and then want to set the color dynamics and then set to foreground background jitter up to 20 you jitter just about 25 saturation about 15 and brightness up to 10 so now we're ready to paint so just first reduce your brush size and paint it just around no I'm sorry maybe you want to pick a cyan um, something like this or because it's too desaturated just play with saturation jitter and now we got this So go to image adjustment brightness contrast and we want to increase the brightness and the contrast reduce the contrast and make brightness at about ninety and then copy the bokeh so we make it brighter and then copy it again so this time we want to add a Gaussian blur so add about I think about 30 or 35 it's okay and then reduce the opacity or and then just set it a hard light or maybe you want to copy reduce the opacity 
and then pick a move tool or press V on your keyboard so press V and then move the blur layer to the like bottom right and then go to the bokeh copy so go to filter blur I think I want to add a motion blur to it and set the angle to you know, about 60 and the distance is very low just want to make it more interesting and then hit the mask tool so we made a mask to it and pick a default brush and just paint it somewhere in your image and set the opposite of the brush about 50 and do the same for the blurred layer so it doesn't look like a bokeh so to make it more realistic make a new layer and set it to white so press control delete or you can see if f5 and a big white color up to you and set the blending mode I think hard light just keep the and then make a mask tool for the white layers here and pick it somewhere here because we reduce the opacity uh, about 50 percent you can brush two times so experiment by yourself so ma make a mask for every layers but no with bokeh and layer 1 but if in case it's not interesting so I just want the effect as to so just play with it or maybe you want to make a mess or bokeh it's okay too but not too much brass don't brass too much for this layer or if you want to just reduce the opacity so you can paint carefully okay I think it's more local a bokeh right now just delete it so we just made a bokeh so blurtic asli here uh, my name is toby thanks for watching and subscribe so this is a bonus video uh, i made uh, some enhancement and the final result is like this so it's more look like a bokeh than the final result in my actual video once again thanks